Hey, Anel, do you think Twitch clips have ruined streaming the same way hit singles have ruined music? Are you traveling here from 1931? Did Mac the Knife just come out? What's, what do you mean the way hit singles ruin music? I meant like Spotify streaming? I don't think anything's ruined anything, really. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just answering your question. I'm not trying to be rude by disagreeing with you. Still good music out there. Don't, don't be one of those guys, okay? You're 22, just guessing. And you're like, oh, music was better when I was 14 when everybody was listening to shit on Groove Shark instead. You see the, I mean, there's the like old cuneiform tablets and shit that were like, you know, the kids these days don't respect the gods anymore and they don't even help me like grind the fucking wheat in the meal anymore and shit like that. Like, so we've been doing this as on every trip around the sun forever. But one of them got me laughing today when I saw, um, it was like an art and it was like from the middle ages and it said thus pastly or whatever. And it was like a hand reading a book. And then it was like thus presently. And it was uh, a hand playing with a deck of cards and smoking and drinking. And that shit was from like 1100 AD. Which is fucking funny, bro. It really is the same thing every time, huh? So <laughs> images that go insanely hard. I think it's all good. You know what? I was thinking about it this morning. It's not this poster's fault, and I must admit before I say this, I'm guilty of this every day, on stream especially. The poster made a, a post on Twitter, and it was like, I, my roommate's, my supposedly straight roommate's grinder notification just went off, and he's freaking out trying to explain it. And I think that's a perfectly funny situation. That the poster is just the straw that broke the camel's back. I hope in 10 years it becomes perceived as cringe to sell out people that are in your community in real life that you see every day, you spend quality time with and you bond to get the approval of strangers on the internet. And I'm guilty of it more than the average person without a doubt. But I'm starting to look at it almost like this, it's like a little pathetic, right? To be 35 years old and be like, you'll never guess what my in-laws did this weekend. I'm like, those motherfuckers changed the sheets so I got someplace clean to sleep when I'm over, bro. So what I'm going to start to do instead is I'm going to sell you motherfuckers out to my in-laws, okay? I'm going to say, you won't believe what this idiot said to me on the internet the other day. And I'm going to paint you in like a fucking horrible light. And we're going to bond over that. It's going to become like an inside joke for two decades. That's so much worse. Wrong, bitch. I break bread with these people. I don't know you from, what do they say in, in religious? I don't know you from Job. I don't know you from, what it, from Adam? What's up? I would rather you didn't on camera. Are you getting, just the, the way that we, I, I was just talking about this earlier in the stream. My mid-year resolution. I no longer want to use the stream to vent about people IRL for a couple of reasons. One is that I think it's a little, it's unfair to the person that's getting vented upon to have like a, a slight social situation then pushed out to like 13,000 people. And the other one is that, you know, as much as I get annoyed by our daycare provider from time to time, we're on a team. We're, we're both, you know, in the, in the business of raising our daughter. Well, that's I, I specifically referenced that when I said that was like, I don't want to do that anymore. Oh, after that's growing out, up. After you have vented out, now that you have light shoulders. <laughs> I mean, that was that was eight days ago. <laughs> my wife's in my ear saying people can't change for the better. This is this is a bad influence, man. She caught you. I, she didn't catch me. I, I started the bit by saying, I'll acknowledge that I'm the person who does this the most. <laughs> have, you, have you seen the photo of the big ball dude? I did see the photo of the... I went to bed at about 10.45 last night. I woke up this morning at 
47 a.m. First thing I saw on Discord, my wife sent me a photo of a man with insanely large testicles because he got bit by a mosquito. It was sent at like 11.58 p.m. last night. And I was like, what is, what is she doing? Well, how they was the I mean, they were so big, they, were, they had descended to touch the ground. It was... I thought it was the uh, leg. It was not. <laughs> They were, they were large enough that, that the sheer weight of them had, had them swaying to the ground. It was like, I, w I would able to fit that. We wouldn't be able to fit that. What do you mean by that? No, I, I would be able to fit in that. Oh, you would be able to fit in that. I see, <laughs> I see what you're saying. I, saw, I get the picture. The legendary long balls. It was huge too. I'm, I'm just gonna be honest with you, they were the largest balls I've ever seen. And that includes my own and I had a medical condition. <laughs> he did, he did. You got stoned by a mosquito that was infected with parasite. <clears throat> and it um, got huge. Me, there, there's no cure for it. me immediately flying to wherever this took place. It's <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a real disease. It's called Giganto Balls, okay? And there's dozens of us. It's not fun. Why are you laughing? It's not funny. I wasn't laughing. Millions of people annually suffer from elephant balls. It's called maple syrup urine disease. Why doesn't he cut off his testicles? Yeah. Imagine because it would hurt a, an insane amount. Yeah, but then would you jog around those two huge balls that you can even wear pants? I don't know what I would do in this situation, to be honest with you. But I'll tell you one thing for certain, and you can bet the farm on this, that mosquito is not seeing tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll be, I'll interrogate as many mosquitoes as I gotta interrogate to find the one who gave me that shit. I'd be like, listen here. Oh, no, I'll never talk. I'll never talk. <laughs> Make it drink like some really fucked up blood, like from someone whose blood sugar is all over the place. <clears throat> Had enough yet, motherfucker? Had enough? Okay, okay. He's in the swamp. Would you cut him off? Would I cut it? Would I surgically remove my testicles if a mosquito that was infected with a parasite bit them and it swole up to the size of a basketball? I'd go to the doctor for sure. No Step one, I'd go to. I'd ask the doctor for their opinion on it. I definitely wouldn't just get out like a pair of scissors or something. I think I would cut them off. Mine? No, if I had one. Oh, okay. And maybe yours. <laughs> Yay! That'd be a, what if you showed up to, <laughs> to your vasectomy with a prosthetic scrotum with like a beach ball inside of it? And you're like, you're the doctor's like, okay, are you ready for the procedure? And then you like pull up your surgical gown and it's like a, <laughs> a boulder. What do you think he would do? I think he would remove those balls. Yeah, but it would be like a beach ball. He would be like, what? <laughs> He'd be like, what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? You know, um, Honkai Star Rail released a new character preview. Mm, okay. And then there's like a copy pasta. And then it was like, it was basically about dry sucking. Dry sucking? Yeah. What is dry sucking? I don't know. It was like, oh my God, he's so hot. I would marry him and dry suck him and do this and do that and it was copy and paste it's not dry suck it's suck him dry oh it's suck him dry a dry ah. suck is like that doesn't sound like that sounds like something you get after you get your wisdom teeth out what's the wait, what's the other one suck him dry yeah you got like no blood in him or something <laughs> you're close <laughs>
<laughs> so you, it, when it comes to the word suck, you could think of vampires. I wouldn't dispute that. Um, there's other parts of the body you could suck as well. And then you would suck that dry? Until there was nothing left in the tank. Because uh, the tank... Is that why the blue balls were so huge? He might need... He had, he, 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 he might need to get on Honkai Star Rail, for all I know. <laughs> he needs to empty his tank. I think well, he's got to empty something. The tank is full. That That's indisputable. What kind of game is Honkai Star Rail? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. He's going to say bad stuff. I, didn't, I wasn't going to say bad stuff. I was going to say it's the kind of game that has your wife sending you pictures of a man with elephant balls. That said, is not true. An hour and a half after, an hour and a half after I already went to bed. Those are not related. It's um, it's it's like Slay the Spire meets um, Las Vegas, I think. She's like she's mad, cause it's she can't disagree. I was out. She wasn't listening. I, what the heck? That planet was called Penis. It's Venus. Venus, it's... Yes. You can't make this up. <laughs> Dude, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> she got me. <laughs> I can't even remember what she said when she came down the first... Oh, just she wanted to vent about the daycare. That's fair. I look forward to hearing about it. I mean, I just, you know... <clears throat> You know what happens sometimes, though. Some, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not going back on my resolution, okay? But so, like, my wife does the daycare drop off, and I do the daycare pickup. So what happens to me a lot of the time is that the daycare provider backseats my wife at the drop off, and then in the afternoon when my stream is done, my wife vents to me about getting backseated by the daycare. And then three hours later, when I pick up my daughter from the daycare, I get exactly the same backseating from the daycare that my wife got in the morning. I'm not saying I have it worse. I'm just saying I do tank a lot of <laughs> psychic damage. <laughs> and then you deal with chat. Well, it's true. And he's been a little ornery lately because literally, I mean, like this morning, I was, then this has been going on for weeks. I'm sure other parents can relate. Sorry, Sock and Buskin, you just don't fit in here. You just weren't made for these times. But, um, you know, I, I do a lot of like daddy daughter stuff. Giving her baths, getting her dressed, taking her to the potty, you know, feeding her. So this morning I was trying to get her dressed and then... I was like, I have to wipe you because she still wears a diaper to bed so she doesn't wet her bed. And she's like, I'm not going to let you wipe me. And I'm like, why? And then she's like, because you're my enemy. And I was like, what are you talking about? Are we really going to... It's like 8.03 in the morning. We're going to start off on that foot today. I'm not allowed to do stuff for you. That's where it, it gets crazy. I'm not allowed to do stuff for you because I'm your enemy. I would love it if you, gave, if you gave yourself a bath, if you wiped your own everything, if you cooked your own breakfast, if you cooked, packed your own lunch, if you cooked your own dinner, blah, 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 blah. But I'm like, I, so now I got to do the thing for you. And while I'm doing it, you're like, don't do it. You're my enemy. And I'm like, what are we talking about here? I'm your dad, Buzz. Then on the nights when mommy puts her to bed, Right before bedtime, everybody's gangster till the lights go out. That's all I'm going to say. Daddy's my enemy. I don't like daddy. Mommy, here's a flower. Daddy, here's some poo-poo. Daddy's my enemy. I love mommy more than daddy. I don't like you anymore. Okay, good night, honey. Three seconds later. Daddy! Daddy! I want daddy! Daddy! I can't go to sleep until... And then... Listen, we don't need to get into it, okay? I do like... Or rather, I should say, I don't mind being the parent that speaks honestly. Because I feel like so much parental content out there. People are not going to like... People with kids are going to plus two this. And people without kids are going to be fucking pissed off and troubled. All the parental 
content on social media is always like, you can never try to adjust your kid's behavior. If your kid's doing something bad, it's your fault. And you can't ever punish them because it'll give them trauma that they'll never get over because they'll never have agency even when they're like middle aged. It's just going to affect them for life. We need some parental content that's like sometimes your kid's just being a little fucking asshole. What you should do is give them a cup of juice and look at your phone for 15 minutes. Because you got to fucking live your life too. Don't get, I'm making sacrifices for our child. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, there's times where you know i'm trying to get her dressed and she's like i don't want to put pants on i want to just wear my diaper and i'm like okay maybe diaper and a dress and she's like no dress shirt that i grew out of six months ago and i'm like okay i'll see you in 10 minutes i'm going downstairs and then all of a sudden it's daddy daddy come here daddy i want to play i'm not playing that game for two hours a night i'll play it with you for 10 minutes and then you gotta you gotta reach a compromise or i'm just I'm out for a little bit. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I know I'm venting, okay? I'm just saying, I, I feel like there's, it's good to have some realistic depictions of parenthood. Because all the ones, and this is how you know social media is, it's like this for everything, right? You, when you see the photo of someone on Instagram and they're at the beach with like a drink in their hand, you don't see their credit card balance. You don't see how they almost got into like a car accident on the way to the beach and they got into a fight in the Uber or something like that. You just see the beautiful sun and the bikini photos and whatever. The, the parenting stuff on social media is crazy because it'll actually have you think, like your kid will say something like, I hate you. And as the parent, you're like, hmm, what's the most equitable way to resolve this situation? And I'm like, don't say that. That hurts my feelings. And then she's like, I don't care. And then I'm like, okay, I'm eating the ham sandwich downstairs. I'll see you in five minutes. <laughs> I'm a person too. It's not all about you. 20 bar rest. You can't read really quickly, did you say? 20 bar rest, baby. 15 bars. We've only got 13 bars. This song is by Billy Joel. He grabbed the pussy in the 80s cause he was a big superstar. He had lots of albums that sold lots of copies and he didn't start the fire. I don't remember the words, but that's okay. Harry Truman, Doris Day, Red China, Johnny Ray, South Bears, Epic, Winter, Winchell, Do DiMaggio, Joe McCarthy, Richard Nixon, Studebaker, Television, North Korea, South Korea, Marilyn Monroe. He didn't start it either. I wish they wouldn't break up the words here. Rosenberg's H-bomb, Sugar Ray, Pumlin John, Brando the King, and I the uh, catcher in the right. Eisenhower vaccine, England's got a new queen, Marciano Liberace, Santayana, goodbye. We didn't start the fire, yeah, it was always burning since the world's been turning. We didn't start the fire, no we didn't light it, but we tried to fight it. Joseph Stalin, Malenkov, Nasser, Andro, Kevioff, Rockefeller, Campanella, Communist Bloc. Ray Cohn, Jump Around, Toscadini, Day Round, Din, Bow, Fowls, Rock Around the Clock. Einstein, James Dean, Brooklyn's got a winning team. Davy Crockett, Peter Pan, Elvis Presley, Disneyland, Bardo, Budapest, Alabama, Khrushchev, Princess Grace, Peyton Place, Trouble in the Suez. We didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. We didn't start the fire. No, we didn't light it, but we tried to fight it. Little Rock, Pastor Knack, Mickey Mantle, Kerouac, Sputnik, Chow and Light, Bridge on the River, Quiet, Lebanon, Charles the Gulf, California Baseball, Stark Weather, Homicide, Children of the Alamite. I don't know what. Buddy Holly, Ben Hur, Space Monkey, Mafia, Hula Hoops, Katsu, Etsu is a no go. Ooh, Sing em, Re, Paola Kennedy, Chubby Checker, Psycho, Belgians in the Congo. We didn't start the fire, it was always burning since the world's been turning. We didn't start the fire. No, we didn't light it, but we tried to fight it. Hemingway, Eichmann, Stranger in a Strange Land, Dylan, Berlin, Bay of Pigs Invasion, Lawrence of Arabia, British Beatlemania, Ole 
Lewis, John Glenn, Liston Beats, Patterson, Hope Paul, Malcolm X, British politician sex, JFK blown away, what else do I have to say? We didn't start the fire, it was always burning since the world's been turning. We didn't start the fire, Woo! no we didn't light it, but we tried to fight it. Birth control, Ho Chi Minh, Richard Nixon back again, Moonshot, Woodstock, Watergate, Punk Rock, Virgin, Reagan Line, Brenner and the Airline, Ayatollahs in Iran, Russians in Afghanistan, Fortune Sally Ride, Heavy Metal Suicide, Foreign Deaths, Homeless Vets, AIDS Crack, Burning Gets, Hypodermic on the Shore, China's Under Martial Law, Rock and Roller Cola Wars, I Can't Take It Anymore. We can stop the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. We didn't start the Tomo. He's been always meowing since he was remowing. And on and on and on and on and on and on and on, oh my God. And on and on. We didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. We didn't start the fire. No, we didn't light it, but we tried to fight it. We didn't start the fire. Who did? It was always burning since the world's been turning. We didn't start the fire. No, we didn't light it, but we tried to fight it. We didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. We didn't start the fire. No, we didn't light it, but we tried to fight it. Who started the fire? It's an ancient mystery that is foreign to me. We didn't start the fire.